this is a major requirement too. I don't want to be any more than 30 minutes from civilization or from the city or from the airport. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and welcome to my house hunting series. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background history. So I've been looking for a home recently, okay? I kind of waited till last minute. My lease is basically up in June. With that being said, I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing, if I'm going to have to extend my lease or if I'm gonna have to move somewhere else and so forth. <sighs> so with that being said, it's not like I didn't know that my lease was coming up I just waited till last minute because um, it just came by really fast and to be honest I thought that I was gonna have enough time to figure out what's what and before I knew it I'm like oh crap it's about to be April and I have to figure out if I want to renew my lease or just completely move somewhere else until the house buying process is situated I'm pretty much looking for a brand new home, new construction, new build. If I come across a home that I do like, that's not brand spanking new, but is about three to four years old with not much renovations, I am open to looking at that type of home as well. I mean, three, four years is not that much older, but a lot of these homes from a couple of years ago do have bigger rooms, bigger living spaces and so forth. So I'm okay with that. I don't wanna have to live in the home while I'm doing renovations. And I just honestly, I wanna be moving ready. So my first option, is a new build my second option is if I have to look this way we ended up finding another realtor who is a friend of my sister's I think they went to school together and that's who we're gonna be working with we had a meeting with him yesterday he was amazing and so these homes that you're about to see in this first home buying series video was what we found on our own on the internet. So we kind of figured this is getting kind of harder. Let's just do it through a realtor. <laughs> After this video, things should kind of make more sense and be a little bit more organized. But for this video, I wanted to show you guys what I saw. This is a major requirement too. I don't want to be any more than 30 minutes from civilization or from the city or from the airport. I'm not going to be super specific with where I'm looking because I'm going to be living there. So I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's just going to make me feel a little bit more comfortable. If anything, I'll say I'm looking north of Georgia and I'm also looking city wise, but I'm not looking anything south of Atlanta. So in case you guys are trying to wonder. I know I keep saying we, let me clarify that a little bit more. So me and my sister are buying the home. Why are we buying a home together? We basically live together all our lives. We get along, we have no issues. I like living with her. And so what we're looking for is we both want to be comfortable in this home as two adults who will probably be dating and so forth. We live together now and we're a-okay. So what we're looking for in this house is we're looking for a bonus room. A lot of homes come with a second living room that's usually on the second floor. It looks like a living room. You can make it into a bedroom. You can make it into a work area, but we would obviously use it as the second living room. Four bedrooms or more because I would like to have one for my studio and we would like to also have a guest bedroom. At least three bathrooms, two and a half minimum, but at least three full bathrooms. We would like to have a basement, whether it's finished or unfinished. We're we're open to it being either or. We wanted to have two floors. We want lots of cute little details in it, like crown molding and all these cute characteristics. Now, major things that I need and that I want is I want a window in the kitchen. That is a huge requirement. I also need a window in the bathroom. That is a huge requirement, those two. The most important thing to me in the entire house is a kitchen, a beautiful kitchen with a window in the kitchen. Obviously two car garage. We would like to have a pool in the complex at least. We would like to have a backyard because we do have a puppy, a good size backyard at that and be allowed to fence it off. Um, what else? I feel like I'm talking to a realtor right now. <laughs> um, I think for now that's, oh, and a formal dining, but I don't know if I'm like, oh my God, I want to have formal. I don't know if I'm like that on it, but we would like to have that as well. That's basically, on our list. Today in this video, you're gonna see me go ahead and check out three homes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Because yeah, you probably need you probably need more a bunch of box lights and stuff in there. Whose bedroom is this? Five? Yeah. <laughs> So 
what's over here. This could be your entry in from the garage. Oh, here. okay. And then all of our homes have this, we call it the Pointy Planning Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, where it's just sort of an open workspace or even an extension mm -hmm. for the kitchen. Okay. All closets. Um, yeah. Because it closets everywhere. Yeah. 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 Just always a good thing. Yeah. So this is the uh, garage. garage. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I like this. this is the formal dining. Oh yeah, I thought that's why I chose it because it has the the living space in the middle. Really? Yes. So one bedroom, balcony, second bedroom. Second, fourth to fifth. Oh, that's cool. It's like a linen closet. Yeah, this is that way. Hey, this is really nice. Oh, this is a nice size. Yeah. You customize it because this one shelf ain't gonna do nothing. This is where the laundry would be. Oh my god, Makita, this is so gorgeous. Cute. This bathroom is so cute. I love this bathroom. I like the quartz. The floor is different too. Yeah, the floor is really nice. The closet is very small. Shocking. Let me see. It's, it's kind of like what you have now, but it's small, Makita. But we can make some work. But you have a studio closet. True. If you need more space. But I'll take all of this out and then like recustomize it anyway. The can't fit on this. I like this one. Look at your tub. I think this tub is made a little higher, so you can make a, take a higher bubble bath. It's really low. It's fine. This is a window in here. That's one of my requirements. I love the marble. You know, the little thing you want to sit out. Oh yeah, that was thing. And that's the toilet room. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, so two, two closets. closets. Yeah. It's supposed to be his and hers. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yes. so it's just yeah. me and me. I'm about to look at the other bedrooms now. So I haven't even said that. So this would be, yeah. This I can be a Jack and Jill. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Actually, where you close off this wall oh. and then you enter. Is that a spider? Um, Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> those daddy long legs. Uh, they actually eat mosquitoes. Oh, oh, so they're they're, they're kind of good guys. Oh, yeah, but they just look creepy. Stop oh, it. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Okay, we got it. Oh, oh, oh no gosh, she's spicy. <laughs> I've never seen one of those in real life. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Love the countertops, and then oh, that's the last bedroom over there. Yeah. I love how the size is all like good size. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good size. That's, I like that. Yeah. first house we just looked at we really liked but as I was leaving I could see a whole entire I could see a whole entire football stadium which was probably for the high school that was behind the homes do the like do the trees you can see the football stadium which is a hell no for me I've learned very quickly don't live near schools don't live near malls oh this is a little desperate house my little neighborhood where are we and then it also had a middle a elementary school around the block Hell no, what I think about is traffic and so forth. So well, that already turned me off. One, it was out of our budget because they gave us, and Lion had a different budget. And I guess she said, 
because homes are in high demand, the prices have went completely up. What we've seen online, just add an extra 30, 40, 50, 80,000 on top of it. I'm like, what? Why is it still this way online? Like, even the, besides the add-ons, the prices that I seen online was not what she showed. So that's why I'm just like, Okay, whatever. So we're driving to the next location. Why would you oh, make a left? We've seen a house on the way to the other house we want to see, so we're gonna check that one out and stop by. All right, guys, so we're on to house number two. Are you in a curve? Mini curve. Oh, we're on to house number two. Wasn't able to see that house because they didn't have a model and they only have like one town home that has four plus four bedrooms, which is one that we would probably we would definitely need. However, there's no model, so we can either look at the single family home, but we just said forget it, what's the point? Um, all these homes are having a crazy price increase, and that's so freaking annoying. Mm -hmm. Like theirs just increased three days ago. Yeah, so the prices. Are so not we need what to get we need to get on. Yeah, the prices are not what they are online. They are a whole different. Or even on the sign. Or even on the sign, because she said she didn't even change the signs yet. So, on to the other place. I hate it. So stop. We haven't <laughs> even gotten here yet. Oh, what the hell are you okay. saying? What are y'all doing, the two of y'all? Where's the place we go? I don't know. I've never been here before. I don't know, but this Sales is... Sales center. That's where we go, right? I don't like these. So, stop. You don't need to see God. anymore. Where do we fucking park? Oh, right there? My belly's fat. I'm hungry. Can we eat? I'm done. This is the last one for the day. Yeah. Because the other people said no. Not a mom, not a... So, we gotta look at the other ones for tomorrow. We don't know where to go. We don't know how to get inside. I think it's a time we should go. I hate homes attached to each other. Home one's lost. They're not answering. I don't think this is somewhere you can go. But it says it. it says. All right, so then let's just give ourselves our own tour. Hello? 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 Anyone here? Mikita, I don't think we just walk up in the place and. Wait, there's a paper. I don't know. It's cute though. It's very cute. My mind has changed suddenly. It's cute in here though, guys. I like this rug. <laughs> I remember we just threw it off our own tour. Oh, there's a window in the kitchen. Yeah. Here's my issue. This is still more cupboards than we had before, right? What? Cupboards. This is... I feel really illegal. You just come in and look, or that's what I'm wondering. Like, is this the sales office for the townhomes and the homes? Yeah, we're confused too. No. no, we're we just no. Yeah, see, oh, where's that from? I don't know. Seattle. Oh, you have access down here. Yes, that's our backyard. Can we fence this? I don't, that's the question you'd have to ask me. Where I where what? Where's the townhomes? No, this was the house. My mom, I can see my neighbors having sex. Today, I want that. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something bad. Is someone taking a shower? This is a massive. Uh uh, not off the stairs. It's scary as hell. This is the security cam. That's, I, I have no clue. So this would be like the other room. But it's really small. This is like so creepy. That's what I'm saying. So if I was, that's what I'm saying. This is like a two bedroom and this would be like. Yeah, so freaking cute. Hold on. That is, what, what the hell with this house? It's a dollhouse. What's that? Oh, it's colder down here. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go down here. She has a laundry. Why is it so cold? Oh, that's in right. the backyard.
texture is good. So that's why I say to me, this is perfect for a one person or a two person. Town homes were open to view, but the single family homes weren't open. So we looked at a townhouse, but nobody was in there. So uh, uh, we did our own little tour. It's cute. It's just not what we're looking for. Oh, I didn't also mention, we don't want any townhomes. At first we were looking for a townhome, a townhouse, but they were just, they're just all really small. They're, they don't fit what we need in our lifestyle. There's no backyard. If there is a backyard, it's really tiny. So it has a nice enough space and a nice area um, and an up and coming nice little town. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not so much of a city girl. This is a major requirement too. I don't want to be any more than 30 minutes from civilization or from the city or from the airport, okay? That's important and the reason why I'm saying that's important is because you know how I'm supposed to be 40 minutes from the airport? You got a long ass drive. Now imagine you got traffic. No, my cutoff is 29 minutes from the city, from the airport and that. I also don't want to be too far because I don't want to be too far from my aunt. So there's a lot of requirements, but I feel like it can be done. I feel like it's not that hard. And yeah, we just have to continuously keep looking. Two cities that I do not want to be in, I'll say this much. I don't want to be in Snellville and I don't want to be in Grayson. Those two I just don't want to be in. Do not put me there. They keep showing it to me. I don't want to see it. I do not want to be there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first home series of vlog. Um, I plan on doing this every Tuesday. However, I don't know when we're, we just had a whole entire meeting with the new realtor yesterday. So I don't know when we're gonna get a chance to actually get out there and look at some homes. So I'm gonna put the second vlog a little on hold. And then from there, once we figure out a schedule and what we're gonna be looking at and so forth, I can give you guys a consistent schedule. But I'm excited, I'm happy. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. So there'll be more. And I'll see you guys in my next one.